Welcome back, First Hour Faithfuls, to yet another episode of the First Hour. This is the show where I, Colin Tanner from Video Games Are Dumb, and you, the legions of First Hour Faithfuls, take a look at the First Hour of a recently released video game. So remember to like, subscribe, and bring the fire below for this episode, Drive Club PlayStation Plus Edition. Now, I've already done a video on Drive Club. I did... Jeez, you know, eight months ago, somewhere in that range. Didn't care for the game. Game was no good to me. Did not like it. Someone already gave me a dislike. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this game was supposed to be out when the PlayStation 4 launched in the fall of 2013. And it got delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. And the game came out and it still got delayed, 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 delayed. Well, I've already played the full game. I gotta see what this PlayStation Plus Edition is all about. I wonder if it just recognizes that I already own the game. And that's gonna be giving me access to more features than I probably should. But whatever, you can see Level 9. Did not play the game much beyond like 3 hours or so. Did not care for it. So let's drive in the drive club. I still don't understand what any of this stuff means. Welcome to Drive Club. Let's play it. Now, everybody's pointing out to me like, hey, they added, like, new graphical effects, and now there's, like, rain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, the, the game looked okay. You know, it always looked okay. Never looked amazing. I mean, it, it looked, uh... Sterile. To me, it always looked kind of sterile. I, I thought that Cherry Blossom stage looked okay when the game came out. Uh, so if you are a PlayStation Plus member, you can download this right now. It's somewhere in the range of like 20 gigabytes. I'm, I might be getting that wrong. See what I mean? Like, it looks okay, but it looks really barren and sterile. Like... Let's see if I can even remember the controls. Oh boy, here we go. You're not supposed to hit the other cars. You lose points if you do that. That car just hit me, but that's okay. See, look, I didn't get points lost for hitting that car. Oh, I guess I did. I mean, it's free, guys. Go download it if you really want to see what this game's all about. I can't help it. Photo mode. Uh, no, I don't... No. Yeah, exit photo mode. There we go. Normally I'm all about being on the hood. But, uh... For this game, I don't mind doing the whole third person thing. I think it's performing better than it did when it originally released. Like, the frame rate looks a lot more consistent. I mean, it never was, like, dropping frames, like, 12 or whatever, but there'd be little hiccups, you'd notice, time and again. The online component was totally screwed up. Like, having a drive club itself didn't really work when the game launched. And the driving was always okay, you know? I always felt like the computers were almost too good. Now I did hit a car. So I have that I had that coming. But the second uh the second impact was actually him hitting me, which when it launched it would punish you for that, which was ridiculous. I mean, if a car hits you, why would that be your fault? I mean, I'm losing points left and right. 
I mean, look at this. The, the sun reflecting on the cars. Does that look nice? It looks pretty good, I think. But people were very upset when my video went up. It was the very first video I did that day. Um, it was a very busy day, too. And people were upset because they didn't want to know that Drive Club... Was it that the Forza killer? And it wasn't the Gran Turismo killer. It was just like a generic racing game. First place, baby! First place, baby! What you gonna do? Take that, Diago Montez. Ha! Diago. How about go, Diago, go. Uh, find a new hobby instead of racing cars, because you ain't no good. You ain't no good. I mean, the imaginary point system and then spending points, that was always confusing. For me. Um... They're very much letting you know this is PlayStation Plus Edition. Some people thought it was going to be cancelled altogether. Which, uh... Wouldn't have surprised me. Now, the entire time I played this game... Uh, multiplayer was completely broken. Oh, you must upgrade your Drive Club PlayStation Plus Edition. Upgrade now. So you get the full game. And I think the full game is now $25. It had some price drops because, uh, this game did not perform. Oh my god. Oh god. Nope. Wait. Where does it say? PlayStation Plus Edition? I'll join this race. Register. Wait, but I'm the only one here. Really? No one else downloaded this yet? I guess I'll do this race. Why not? <laughs> oh! Cool, we got somebody else here. We got other people here, yeah! Oh, one guy just dropped out, okay. Not sure why that happened. But he dropped out, decided he was like, ah, screw this. I'm going to go back to playing Pac-Man Championship Edition. DX. Which would be, you know. I'm keeping an open mind. You know, there, there are some enhancements to the game since I last played it, which is good. They would have to enhance it quite a bit. When I played it back uh, in October, just the general racing just wasn't fun. It just wasn't fun to drive the car. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. It felt like uh, I was driving like a shopping cart. I don't know how else to explain it. Yeah, we're still sinking with that lobby here. Uh, time compression. Times 15. Weather is cloudy. Precipitation, I guess, is on. Cool, we're all together here. Vehicle select. Go with that. That's all I've unlocked. Just gotta wait on the other guys now. Wow, that guy already unlocked a different car. He must have the full game. I wonder if the full uh, title owners like I've, I've got my got my copy right over there, somewhere around there. Or is it down there? Yeah. So many video games everywhere. If I pop that in, if I could still race this. Oh god. What is happening to him? What is happening to him? What is going- Oh, I'm getting sick. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? I, 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 oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so distracted by that. It was just like, I kept trying to avoid something that wasn't there.
Alright. Get back to the race. Just ignore it. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at racing. I mean, the graphics look okay. I, I The way I phrased it when I played this was that this looks like a launch title. This looks like something that you, you, you dust off your uh, your nice big HD TV, you tell your buddies to come over, and they look at the graphics and they're like, whoa. But the more time you spend with it, the more you kind of realize that those individual effects don't add up to, you know, anything quite meaningful. Like, yeah, look at this rain you know, this water falling down. That's really impressive. But, like I said, it's kind of sterile. It's kind of empty. There's not a whole lot to it. Well, we passed him up. I will say I'm having more fun than when I played the game originally. Maybe they fixed something about the controls. The controls really felt weird. And honestly, having this little competition thing is really cool. Come on, get faster than him. You know what? That's actually really fun. That's that's a very cool mechanic right there. It's a little bit like uh, Forza's Drivatar, but uh, there's just more metrics to it. You just see the numbers right away. Now, I'm not calling the game ugly. I want to make sure that that is perfectly clear. But I'm not saying the graphics are bad in this game. They're just... Uh They're a bit, um, I don't know, artificial. Like, it takes place in nature, but it, you never believe it. At least I never believe it. And you might be saying, well, whoa, 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 whoa. Why on earth are you picking on this game? I'm a big believer in, in treating the game. Crap. I just screwed up. Big believer in judging a game solely based off of what it's attempting to do. Did that guy have a haze icon? Who the hell plays haze? And this game um, is attempting to have a very realistic world. Yeah, no. Did I beat him? Wow. Cool. I mean, th this is supposed to be a simulation racer in a simulation of a real world. Like that's that's what they're going for. So that's why I'm that's why I'm critical of being like, yeah, this feels artificial. That's that's why I'm saying that. But that is not to say that the game looks bad. But it is to say it does not feel authentic. Now the racing itself, the actual feel of the car, it feels very much improved. Um, I'm not sure if they made any improvements to it, if I'm just coming to it... Uh, just feeling a little bit more authentic. Yeah, that is a haze icon. Jeez, man. Really? Haze. Okay. Haze beat me again. But the general drifting, the sense of speed, it's all mostly there.
Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna. Oh, he beat me. If I would have just used a little bit of the brake, I wouldn't have gone so far down compared to slamming into that wall. If the online mode uh, modes are functional, then I would say just play online because this is actually really fun. Always competing against these uh, other people. Well, the race is ending. Crud. Yeah, the other guy dropped out. The other guy dropped out, which, you know, that's cool. You know, thanks for doing that, you jerk. Yeah, it's just Drive Club. It doesn't say the other people. I mean, is it an internet issue or, or what happened? I, I honestly uh, couldn't tell you. All right. Hmm. Alright, let's continue the event. I don't know what... <laughs> what do you want me to do? Look at my own profile? What the fuck do you want me to do? So don't hit back and don't hit browse events. Just look at yourself. I guess we got 18 seconds for the other thing. Oh good. The other guy dropped out. Let's back out here. Yeah, let's back out. There's gotta be a lobby that isn't ending in 20 seconds. Alright, this one's starting in two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that uh, we'll probably get somebody here. I mean, Drive Club just kind of was, you know, my biggest issue with Drive Club was that the driving didn't feel great. But I am having more fun today with the game. It is, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm not sure if it's really feeling any better or if it's just those small little icons you know the they're saying like hey this guy did this certain amount of drifting points you want to beat him hey this person did this sort of speed that's really cool that's actually a lot of fun that's an incredibly uh compelling mechanic so that right there i'm enjoying quite a bit as for the uh the online component i mean i guess this just came out so who knows like maybe I, they're, they're not really publicizing it you know like if you were to go on to the uh, PlayStation Store on your PS4, what it'll say is free trial. Drive Club! Free trial. If you go to the PlayStation Store on your computer or your smartphone, it'll say Drive Club PlayStation Plus Edition. Okay, so which is it? Is it Drive Club PlayStation Plus Edition or is it Drive Club Free Trial? I mean, because you promised PlayStation Plus Edition, so why wouldn't you say on the very console that you promised on in its store, why would you saw it, say anything other than PlayStation Plus Edition? But now it's being called Free Trial. Go figure. Is that a, is that a small thing? Sure, but it means that they're not exactly publicizing this. Like maybe they threw something up on Twitter, but... I don't know. Alright, cool. Alright, we got some people right here. It's gonna be another two versus two. Vehicle select coming up. Oh, you can buy it on the PlayStation Store. Okay.
So I assume this guy must have unlocked that car from playing this so much, or they own the real game. I own the real game. They know I own the real game. I mean, I guess I didn't put my disc in the PlayStation 4 before doing this video. Maybe that's it. Maybe they don't know I own the real game. <laughs> You know, this game still seems too dark at, at some times. And I always have, uh, that was one thing. I was complaining about how dark, what? What? Did he explode? Oh my God. I did, the guy ran me. The guy behind me just hit me and it just said, minus 200? Are you kidding me? Like, this right here looks too dark for me. I'm actually having a little bit of trouble seeing in the distance. And uh, it's worth noting that the video you're watching is always a little bit brighter. That's by design. I always make the videos a little bit brighter than what I'm seeing. So if you can see off in the distance perfectly fine, good for you. This car is freaking teleporting. I don't know if you know this about racing, but it's very important for the cars in front of you not to teleport so you know how you can attack and gain the lead. Oh, I could have handled that better. I just don't understand why it's so dark, like, the car has headlights, right? Oh god, the car behind me. I'm scared it's gonna just teleport. It's the car from the fifth dimension! Don't you see? They're invading us! I don't want this guy to overtake me. It's embarrassing enough that... He hit me! He hit me! He's running me off the fucking road! And I'm getting... I'm losing points over that? Fuck you, Drive Club! You're nuts! Hey, no offense, but, uh... That's bullshit. He went out of his way to attack my rear uh, tire to, to ram me off the road, and I lose points. That, in a nutshell, is my issue with Drive Club and its, its point system. Am I great at driving? Hell no! You see me crash into stuff all the time, but that part wasn't my fault. I mean, this is pretty dark. <laughs> that was bogus. And the other guy dropped out! My other teammate dropped out!
What if I don't want to save the replay? What else can I do? Uh huh. The other teammate, Drive Club. <laughs> Come on. It's ridiculous. Let's see if these guys stick around. Eh. Some rewards are not available until you actually buy Drive Club. That's cool. You can just unlock them. And then you can't do anything. Alright. Let's, let's do it. Just... Hopefully these guys will stay in the room. Nope. Alright, the other guy dropped out. Well, well, well. If it isn't Passenger 11, come crawling back. They're ducking out of the game. Hope this jerk on my team actually sticks with it this time. But he keeps jumping off. So, I mean, you know, so far this is... Okay. Oh, okay, cool. I haven't unlocked this vehicle yet, but... Oh, God! Yeah, just drop out! Before it even starts. Just leave. That's fine. I mean, I assume you can play with people that actually play Drive Club. So if this is the matchmaking we're getting right now... Not great. I mean, isn't that a tad bit too dark? Don't you think? Don't you think this is too dark? It's covering up for something, I think. Oh man, there you are gaining on me. It's two against one right here. I'm trying to drive better than I have so far because I really want to win this race. But I'm not going to. Can't even. I, I don't know what's going on. My car just keeps drifting every two seconds. <laughs> Shit. Whatever, you know, they can win the race. I don't care. This car controls like shit. I'm not that good at driving to begin with, but Jesus, what is this? I swear to God, I'm not doing half this shit. Cool, whatever. Like, the first lap was fine. Now it's fucking garbage.
The guy was only going 54 miles per hour? No wonder I beat him. Looks like a lot of people aren't even trying for some of these trials here. Can't beat that. That's the part I actually really like about Drive Club are all these random challenges. They're always very environmentally appropriate. Crap. I screwed up. 82. Score of 82 there. Great. Yeah, I'm never catching up. I might even get lapped. Yeah, I'm not very good at drifting yet. I want to complete this race. But I'm not going to be able to do it. it sucks. Damn it, the basketball beat me. Ah. What are you going to do? Did not finish. You only don't like the game because you're bad at it. You suck at the game, that's why you don't like it. Well, no, I don't like it. But, for free, why not? It's free, you know? I don't know if I'd recommend that 25 bucks. But, uh,. You know. Let's see what else I can do here. What else we got in this free version of Drive Club? Wow. To continue, you must upgrade your. To continue, you must upgrade to. To continue, you must. To continue, you must. Be, 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 be. India. <laughs> That's it. Alright, let's put on some heavy. We're gonna throw on Stormy. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's do this. 
<laughs> that way we get a good look at the graphics. I'm sorry, can we do this? Okay, so I can't do that. <coughs> Alright, there we go. There's the one car. One car. <coughs> Let's just go right into it. Damn it. Five points, that's all I got. <laughs> And in last place... I mean, the rain effects are nice. I like the way that the road reflects the light. All that's very good. I remember the crowds looked really bad when this game came out. I'm not sure if they still look bad. That drifting face-off thing doesn't mean anything to me. I have no goal. In the single player, it's like, drifting face-off? Sure, yeah, whatever. Thanks, buddy. Online, it's like, hey, this guy I don't know drifted more than me? Well, the hell with him. You know, it's it tricks you into caring. But just some random drift-off, I don't care.
You know what? Screw it. I rammed one car, and it got me into 11th place. But you know what? At least I'm not last. That's all that really matters. All right. Mm hmm. I still think the interface is kind of junky in this game. Like I, it's a little, especially with like tour mode, it's kind of difficult to figure out what exactly what the hell is what. Photo finished mission. Like what are these things? Midnight. What the fuck could midnight mean? Was it at midnight? Downforce apex. And there's just, I mean, they're cool graphics. Little. Those little, uh, those little cards look very nice, but I don't know what they mean. I'm going back online because that's the place to be, really. Um, online actually has some rather compelling components to it, keep you engaged moment to moment with the race beyond just trying to make corners and get in first place uh that rhymed that's weird so i mean if you're gonna play this i'd say don't even bother with the single player unless you're just trying to get your uh, bearings on the controls because this right here is the way to go that online mode it's fun uh even though your teammates will always drop out holy crap look at all these players no way. Wow. Incredible. Well, this is a rare treat. I guess everybody saw that I was uh, playing online. They just had to join in. That's the only explanation. I did it. No. No, not really. <laughs> we all did it together. Much respect to the Ape Escape icon, though. You know. You got the DMC4 Nero icon. Yeah. Who the hell gives a crap about Nero? Nero's a boring character. It's all about that Dante. Dante or uh, GTFO. That's what I say. Got less than 20 minutes here. Hopefully we are... Actually going to be able to have this race without anybody dropping out. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, here we go. The cars aren't flickering either. Which is awesome. Oh, we got a flickering car. And I am in second to last place, probably because somebody dropped out. Ah, the flicker car is trying to pass me. Ah, ah, there's just a floating A-pad that's screaming at me. Be gone, spirit! Oh God. Ah, I went through them. Oh my God. Hey, you know what? This is actually fun when you got all these racers here. What the? I'm in last place.
Man, I am in last place still. Oh boy, not in last place anymore though. Oh god. Come on. Come on. Edging closer. Smashing into walls, but edging closer. What do you think about that last place person? I might be second to last place, but I'm not last place. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I really want to pass this dude up. Son of a bitch! Well, I almost was in last place, but thankfully I wasn't. Oh. It's kind of fun when you're playing with a lot of people, though. Fame will not be awarded. What do you say, guys? We doing this again? No, where are you going? Why? Why? What? What? Why doesn't anybody stay in one lobby? Ah. I mean, yeah, when you're playing with... I already said I like the online mode a hell of a lot better than single player mode. And when the game launched, the online mode was pretty busted. So you really had to stick with single player. Single player mode is bad. It's a bad, bad... It's a bad racing game. Do not play the single player mode. Online mode, on the other hand, I'm having a good deal of fun with. I like all the uh, mechanics of, of uh, trying to beat a previous record and just racing with other people. That's fun. That's actually pretty good. Trouble is, it's kind of hard to find a full, you know, lobby. The game is getting kind of up there for uh, a less than uh, stellar sales record. I'm not sure how many people are sticking with this title. Awesome. Please don't anybody leave. Please don't anybody leave. Let's stay close together and play this race. What is that cat head anyway? See those the people on the blue team? They got two people with the cat's heads. I don't get it. I know it's up from Drive Club because it's the second icon that's from Drive Club, I think. Sweet, everybody's sticking around. Uh, we got about ten minutes. Let's let's do this, gentlemen.
he just teleported. That kind of fucks with me. <laughs> what? I, I'm avoiding things that are popping in front of me, guys. I can't help it. Last place again. All right. Thank you, Drive Club. Thank you for your shitty online servers. I gotta switch to third person because I honestly cannot tell what the hell's hitting me. Or like what I'm crashing into at the time. This car is pretty wide. But then again, I can't race in third person, so... Fucking ghosting, flickering... Spirits of, of crashed games, I don't... How is that okay? Where is everybody? Are they still on? Yeah, okay, they're still here. I'm just so far back. Just want to make sure everybody sees that this thing's just doing it on its own. Which might be mildly realistic, but come on. I mean, a lot of the same issues that I've had with the game in the past are still here. It's too fucking dark. I don't care if that's realistic. I don't care. It's too fucking dark. If I can't see what's going on 200 feet in front of me, that's a problem. I mean, I'm, I'm mostly looking at the mini-map to tell me when I'm supposed to turn. Because it's impossible to see <laughs> what's in front of me. Now what you're supposed to do in this game is supposed to build up a club with your friends and then everything you do, single player or online, adds up to a better score. I will say they fixed the sense of speed. Before it didn't feel like you were going 75 miles an hour. Here I can kind of believe this is 120 miles an hour, so good on them. I'm not going to finish this race either, just so you know. Guarantee you. Will not finish. Nah! Ah, 30 seconds. 
Which is okay, because the video has to end soon. I'm just gonna just start smashing into shit. Oh my god, they're so mad. They're so mad. Oh, they're mad at me because I didn't finish. Oh, I can't wait for the comments on this video. Can't understand you, boys. Because, seriously... Well, whatever, I got six... Okay. Drive Club PlayStation Plus Edition. Should you play it? Do you have a PlayStation Plus subscription? It's a free download. Go download it. Go play it. Find out for yourself. Me personally, eh. I already played the regular edition. And, I, you know, I'll be real with you. I'm no good at this game. I'm not going to bullshit you and say, oh, the controls are bad or whatever. Yeah, they're not great. They're not great. Like it, It's a little hard to feel out the exact reactions of the car um but they're good enough the actual single player like i said is not interesting in the slightest and you really should be playing online if anything uh besides that you'll get some interesting commentary from people screaming at each other um yeah i mean it seems like a pretty good chunk of the game i can understand why they didn't want to release this uh, alongside the basic game because people would just play this. Why would they ever buy the regular game unless they were really into it? I think if you'd never played Drive Club, this would be good enough for you. You'll, you'll, you probably won't even need to buy the regular game unless you're really into racing games. And if you're really into racing games, I don't think you're going to dig Drive Club. You know, there are other racing games. Uh, on other systems that are better than Drive Club. And there are probably a number of racing games that will be coming to the PlayStation 4 soon that will be better than Drive Club. Now, it's better than The Crew. I'll say that much. But, you know, I think it's always been kind of average. You know. Um, yes. But then, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of The First Hour. Remember to like, subscribe, and bring the fire in the comments below. Be respectful, and I will be respectful right back. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next episode.